I did not create this approach. Smarter, better anglers than me figured it out. I've done a lot of learning and gotten a lot of instruction, been very fortunate to have good mentors and good instructors. And this is what I've come to rely on as my go-to approach for uh, finding fish, whether it's because the flows have changed or I'm in a new place or there's been a change in the way the, the river flows or whatever. This is how I go about it. So I'm just starting. I have no idea where the fish are. I haven't been here in years. I don't know anything about this place. And I'm going to start top and back. Back, working up. Back, working up. Close to me, moving far. And I'm going to start at the top of the water column with a caddis that I can see. And then I thought about doing a double dry, but I don't really want to take the time. So I'm going to fish this emerger. I've only traded the top. It'll kind of sit half in, half out of the water column. And I'm going to be careful wading out so I don't wade out too far, too fast. But I also need to get to the moving water. So it's all kind of a big... balancing act. So I'm basically just surveying the water right now and seeing if I can tempt anybody up in the very top. I, I kind of don't actually expect to, honestly. So it's more just, I'm just being thorough. But I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing this because I don't actually anticipate a huge amount of success. And I think if I were going to have success, I probably would have had it already. couple of spots here I'm going to work a little bit more thoroughly closer over to that structure maybe out a little bit in this pool if that doesn't work I'm going to put a dropper on that's good I like that it's got quite a bit of potential I'm feeling like if that doesn't work there's no point in continuing with this rig yeah this isn't working I mean if they were going to take this they'd have taken it so I'm gonna to switch to a dry and dropper. Call me impatient, that's what I'm doing. So I left my dropper, my tag, just as long as I had it before with that semi-floating foamy fly, foam fly. And now I'm putting on a fairly light fly. And it's pretty short. It's not a lot of space between it and my dry. So that's, as I'm moving down the water column, I'm gonna start with a short dropper and I'm gonna work my way up to a longer dropper. And of course, as I do that, I'm probably gonna have to go heavier, get things to sink. And I may have to move to a bigger, floatier dry fly. And that cast was terrible, but I'm gonna fish it anyway. Because back to, back to front. So back of the run to front. So that was a short cast, that's okay. Work this back portion and then move up. got promise right there. Come on, that looks good, that looks good. That was a fish. Oh, that was a fish. Okay, there you go. There's my feedback. So I know that in that top part of the water column, fish. But I had to get a little bit below the surface. I've extended my dropper considerably. Probably about twice. I've put a slightly heavier dropper on here and I've changed the profile of both my dry uh, this is kind of a more of a mayfly from a caddis and my dropper from a true caddis to a, this is a duracell oh that was a fish see that flash okay there we go that is confirmed so I got a confirmed killer here. So that gives me hope about my fly profile and my depth and the location of these fish potentially. So I changed my rig. I put the um, 
I'm a micro chubby trimmable in here. And then about the same length, put a heavier fly with the same profile and color scheme as the one that I know got picked up. It's kind of a variation on dress out. And so I'm hoping that this will get me down a little bit faster. I'll see my dry fly a little bit better. And this will really start picking up some fish. I can see that fly beautifully. It's right where I want it. I'm optimistic. Somebody else is trying to talk to me about my car's extended warranty. Oh, so I'm going to check. I don't know if that was bottom. It may have been bottom. Sometimes if your fly comes back clean, you can think it's a fish. Sometimes you'll have scales on it. If it comes back dirty, maybe it's bottom. That's pretty clean. I don't know. So I don't know if that was bottom or a fish. So to be clear, I did not invent this method of fishing. This is well known um, kind of way to approach water, especially if you're unfamiliar with it. Pretty, there's a fish. There we go. Pretty standard stuff. So there you go. So that's good, positive feedback. Oh, he's not monstrous, but he's number one. Not terrible either. Chew. All right. We are on the board. Yeah. So that's good depth, good profile, positive feedback. Let's see what else we can do. Should get good. Oh, yeah, that was a fish. So now I kind of have an idea of where they are too. So now I have an idea of where they are both vertically and laterally in the water column. And I can target them a little bit better. Optimistic about that. Promising. There's a fish. Okay. Oop, there's two. Touched him. Counts. <laughs> I should really use my net. Alright. So now that I've got it kind of dialed in, I'm starting to get in some numbers here. Same size as the first one, not quite as nice as the second one. Might give me a little smaller. But it's okay. It's a fish. So now that I've found, gotten some positive feedback, I'm going to take my time a lot more and more thoroughly cover this water both laterally and vertically where I've been finding this fish. I can make a decent cast here. I can get a little bit more distance on my cast, that's going to be moving up, farther up the run. So that's kind of moving more back to front. Extra distance might also help make it let my flies sink a little bit more.
Вот туда. Same rig. I'm still rocking that kind of chunkier dry and a slightly heavier drop or pretty deep. And they're all coming from about the same spot. So that's what I'm targeting. Obvious reasons. And I gotta get it far enough out there to let the flies sink. Get down to where the fish are. Should do it. So it's still working, so there's no reason to change, except that I'm getting a little bit bored and want to change, and I'm curious about what a streamer's going to do. Huh. But if I wanted to be real thorough, I'd just keep this up until I didn't catch any more fish. I might put on an even heavier dropper, bigger, chunkier, chubby, and then I might even move to an indicator and get way deep. And then fix, I'm going to go to a streamer after that. For the sake of pedagogy, I'll walk through a few more phases. Here. So I'm still covering this water. Right? I haven't been getting too much over here, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to keep covering. I'm sure there are fish here. They're probably a lot deeper. I think it's way deeper here. I don't really have any idea, but that's my guess. I think they're probably down way deep. And uh, until I, you know, get a streamer and sink it down there. Or an indicator. A real heavy fly. I probably won't be able to target those fish too much. Except for the ones that are kind of looking up. Got a lot of potential right there. It's that same drift. Is, is, are they picking it up? Right in there, right there. That's that spot. Right this money spot right here. This is it. This is the spot. It's a good drift. Hold you. That's a nicer fish. Yes. So I'm getting it dialed in, right? Taking some time, some experimentation. I didn't get immediate feedback. But now I kind of got it. This chunky guy. I have a lot of confidence in him. Coming up on it. As it's moving forward, my fly's dropping down, getting into that zone. We're right about there. It's kicking over to the right a little bit, but it still might be okay. It's coming over. Now we're right up on the edge of that money spot. Here we are. We're in it now. We're in the juice. In the juice. Come on. Come on. Mm. 
So if I get half a dozen drifts like that with no response, I'm going to change because that's my feedback, right? That's my negative feedback that's communicating to me that I should change, that I've exhausted that particular location. This has a lot of potential right here too. This I'm feeling really good about. Here we go. Here we go, right there. Come on. That's in it. That's in it. That's in the juice. That's it. Come on. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. I know you want it. You do. I know you do. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, I may have to change something. If I don't get... If this doesn't work, I'm changing. Because that's too many casts with no result. Plus, I'm impatient. I might have mentioned it. Very impatient. That's a fish. Oh! I stuck in pretty good. That's good. That's pretty, that's pretty money. I can lose that. <laughs> that was a fish though. That was terrible. I gotta be better about managing with slack. I'm not getting good hook sets. I think my fly is really not a log, so I'm gonna change it anyway and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna step down one more. Heavier dropper, thicker dry, same depth, but it's gonna sink faster. So those fish that are up higher, I'm gonna be targeting them because I'm gonna drop down faster to them. And I'm gonna change my profile. I'll report back in a sec. Okay, so this is not working. So, I'm going to do something different. And it's going to be more depth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put an indicator on. I might put an indicator on and get a little bit deeper. So I'm moving to an indicator so I can get deeper. And I'm going to start with my indicator close to my first fly. And then as I fish, I'll move it up closer to my fly line to get more depth. Any of this could totally get lit up. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm down deep enough over here now. This is going to be... This is going to be fun. Same fly. So for whatever reason, the color or the shape of this fly, they like it. It's the only fly I've got fish on today. I've fished, what, eight, eight different flies or something? And the only one they're taking is this Duracell. So for whatever reason, they like it today. Should do it. Oh, it's watching my, my feet. I know some people say don't walk or move and fish at the same time. I break that rule. Oh, I lost him. That should get bit. Hang up. But it should be a fish. Oh. It should also be a fish. Oh. 
But every time I look away, I should know better. This is a fish right here. I dare on play it. Another fish though, that's okay. I'm totally on them now. See that? And all that data, and now I'm like boom, 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 boom. Got it dialed in. Just in case you're curious, this is literally the second time I've ever been to this river. So it's not like I've got it dialed in because I've been here so much. I fish it all the time. But it was a, you know, a process of trial and error and experimentation, a systematically searching <clears throat> until I found the fish. Systematically trying different flies, different depths, different techniques, dry, dry dropper, emerger. Oh. So you could do this anywhere. I mean, this is exactly how I approach new water every single time, essentially. If I'm on my own. If you have a guide, you know, the guide fishes it every day or every week or something. It's going to tell you, like, you know, put your indicator exactly this many feet from this fly and put it right along this line. Uh, it takes a lot of guesswork out of it or if you have someone who fishes there all the time. But if you're figuring out a new spot, this is exactly how I would approach it every single time. If I didn't have any other information. Maybe it doesn't work for some people. Maybe some people want to just like immediately get on fish and they just fish a streamer right away or they just immediately go, you know, 12 foot leader. Whatever, that's fine too. Do whatever works for you. But if you're, if you're struggling and you need a way to kind of methodically work it, figure it out, this is my recommendation. So now I'm gonna increase my depth a little bit, literally just by five inches or so. This is the fish. It's right where the chimney. I'm gonna move my fly up or my indicator. I'm gonna move my indicator up. It's like another pop it onto the other side of this knot. And what, like another six, seven inches or so. I'm a woman, so lousy depth perception. You've heard the joke. All my life, I've been told this is eight inches. My mother told me that joke, true story. Like that.
Oh, took a different fly. Took my top fly. First fish on a different fly. Go on, kid. Let's go. Check my top fly too. So what is that about? Maybe something is hatching. This is a caddis that I tied the other night. Pretty proud of it actually. It's a new fly for me to tie. Look at that. You screwed me all up, pal. <laughs> Rude. Um, you know, maybe I'm just fishing and I'm kind of fishing a little closer to me. Getting in a different part of the water column. I don't know. I probably haven't thoroughly exhausted everything, but I'm going to move up anyway, just in the interest of time. So now I'm like, what, 10, 10 inches to a foot deeper than I was, assuming that those flies have time to sink all the way so that my leader is taut. So if there's anybody a little bit deeper, this should pick them up. See that you hit that a few times. Oh, I forgot my stuff is all messed up from that last fish. I like never even fixed it. Oh. Oh. Let me fix that. I'll be right back. I got that tangle out. The exact same rig haven't adjusted a thing so it's a little bit deeper than I have been fishing this is about as deep as I can get on this leader without extending the tippet so this will be the deepest depth I'll go to with an indicator and then I could go deeper you know until I hit bottom but I'm oh I'm gonna switch to a streamer because I want to if I wanted it to sink faster I could put a heavier fly on there too and that's probably what I would do next is I would put a heavier fly either as an anchor oh so I'm getting more down at this deeper depth too or as my second to last fly my middle fly to try and get um, everything down a little faster hitting bottom. I may have finally found bottom. It's fresh. Oh, hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Buddy. <laughs> oh, behind me is like spanking me. Oh. Hanging into that, buddy. Okay, so I am at the end of my leader. I think I'm hitting bottom. I'm not getting a lot of fish here. So I'm going to switch to my last technique in a minute, which is going to be dragging a streamer, stripping a streamer through all this water. Can you pick up any remaining fish? Hopefully. Um, and you know, Probably not 100% covered, but if I were doing it really methodically, it'd be pretty darn close, I think. Uh, and I'd really feel like I'd covered all this water well. You know, for the sake of the video, I'm not doing it quite as thoroughly as I might. Um, but I want to make sure I get it all in. And I'm already like way past midday here, so. This is not, I'm not feeling this as well as I did before. Oh.
I could have gone deeper, you know, put on heavier flies on my indicator, tried to um, get a little bit deeper. I think I found bottom though, and you know, I think I've made the point uh, and demonstrated how to go about systematically searching the water. So now I've got a streamer on here, pretty heavy. And then I've also got the fly that's been producing the most for me, just because why not? And I'm gonna strip these through. And I expect to pick up some more fish. Same thing, I'm gonna start close to me, and then I'm gonna move up. One, two, three, four, five. So that's, I'm counting it down, because I still wanna, that was a little something, I still wanna fish top to bottom. So I'm gonna count it down starting with five. One, two, three, four, five. I want to get it out of there because I don't want to hang up. Sometimes it's bumping it. You move out a little bit, cover all this water in a big fan. One, two, three, four, five. Those first few strips are just me trying to get it a little tight. In case something, ooh, that was tight. In case somebody takes it on the drop. Okay, so five is good. So I'm gonna go with five for a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Move up. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm not going to count out loud, but I am going to keep counting. But I want this to sink a little faster so I can count down to five uh, and have it be deeper. So I put on a second bugger. So it's heavier than what I had before. So I'm gonna try that. <coughs> I'm still counting to five. I'm just taking in the slack on my first few strips. Right here, it's just me taking the slack. 
can't actually talk in strip count. Oh. I take. Five is working. <laughs> I'm going for 15 now. Oop, I think it's done. <laughs>